Hey folks, Mel the Train Tutor back in the studio and back to help you with your builds. Now over the past few years I've made a lot of MDF kits. From LA Apocalypse to snowy mountains and everything in between. And I've made a lot of mistakes, but I've also learnt a lot. So here are my top tips for MDF kits. Come on, let's crack on. First tip. Always wipe your boards. When you get laser cut terrain, you often get it with this residue from the cutting process on. And if you don't wipe it off, that's gonna soak through your paint and cause you problems in the future. So, get a damp rag, give it a little bit of a wipe while it's still on the board, and take all that residue off. Next up, we need to take these out of the sheets. And when you take them out, especially fiddly bits, you can break them as you force them out. So we need to be a bit careful. And so we use two pence popping. Yeah, simple two pence coin, place it on there. Yeah, so it's just rised up enough so that as you push it down, yeah, you push it down far enough to pop it out, but not far enough to break it. And use something like a, a brush. It's firm enough to push it out, but not pointy enough to damage the board. The next tip is always spray your buildings. MDF is notorious for soaking up moisture, so it will take lots of acrylic paint coats or house paint coats to get an even coat. You don't have that problem with spray paints, just an even good covering. Now, you might want to use house paints or a particular house paint colour that you can't get in a spray can. Yeah, so give it a blast of a matte varnish to seal the MDF first and then go in with your house paints. Next tip. Prime and paint your pieces before you assemble them. It's a lot easier to get your colours and your shading done on your pieces when they're flat on your desk, rather than trying to hold a building upside down when you've completed your kit and you're trying to get a difficult bit. So, prime and paint before you build, guys. Next tip, always dry fit your components. It's always better to find out that a join's gonna be a little bit fiddly before you put your glue on. So save yourself some time and hassle, dry fit first, glue second. Right, next, as you're putting it together, you'll force PVA out between the joins, leaving those white blobs. Simply use a damp brush and just rub over them. This'll clean the blobs off and spread the PVA around, around the joint, giving you a much better bond. Next up, base it. Basing not only provides a protective rim around your model, but it gives you an opportunity to texture, paint and flock the piece up to tie it into the rest of your scenery pieces, your board, and your, your army. And not just base it, but customize it. In this case, I'm swapping the risers out for a little bit of blue foam stonework, or in the case of this one, just simple coffee stirrers to board up the windows. Customizing it and basing it takes your model from a simple MDF kit to a beautiful, unique feature piece. Next up, when you're putting these kits together, bands and clamps can be great. But get yourself some magnets as well. Magnets can really work well with difficult to hold pieces. By simply putting a magnet on one side and a magnet on another side, they'll do all the heavy work for you. And with a little bit of super glue and Lego, you can do a bit of clever crafting and come up with corner pieces for clamping those difficult to hold corners. Next tip give it a wash. When it's all painted and assembled, a simple watered down paint wash will help blend in all your dry brushing, all your painting. It will bring your colors together. It will provide extra shading and extra depth to the piece. And above all, it just helps it make it look beautiful. So if you want to make it pop, wash it. And my final tip, varnish it. MDF buildings, because they're wood and they're flat surfaces, are notorious for getting scratches on them, so they need sealing. I use car matte lacquer to seal mine, and I work on the basis of one coat for personal use, two clo coats for club, three coats for store and tournaments. Remember, you've put the effort in, so protect the effort. 
So folks, those are my top tips, but I'm wondering if you've got any top tips for MDF kits. I'd like to do a community roundup of all your tips, but I need you to submit them. So jump in the comments down below and leave me your tips so I can do the video. And moving on, this isn't the only video we've done on MDF. We've done actually quite a lot on MDF kits. So we've got videos on weathering them, customizing them, smoking them up, damaging them and all sorts. And if you're interested in any of those videos, you can check them out there. If you're new to the channel, you can subscribe down there. And if you really like the videos, yeah, then please consider supporting it. Just a dollar a month on Patreon down below makes all this happen. And in the meantime, guys, crack on to Raniacs. Tell